All right, time to talk about the quotient rule. Quotient rule, kind of a messy rule, and hopefully we won't have to use it all that often, but it is in the formula packet, so we do need to be familiar with it and be able to use it if it becomes necessary. So notice this is what is in the formula packet. It says if uh, y is equal to u over v, so if we have a function that's made up of two functions that are being divided by each other, we can find the derivative of the function y by doing this big mess. Okay, so what's happening here is it's the function in the denominator times the derivative of the function in the numerator minus the function in the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, all divided by the denominator squared. So that's what we have here. So I'm going to put it this way into our notes and then I'm going to write it again using um, different notation. So with like f of x and g of x. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy this over. So we use the quotient rule if we have y is equal to u over v. Okay, so if it's made up of two different functions, then the derivative of y in respect to x is going to be equal to the um, v, okay, the denominator, times the derivative of the numerator, so du dx, minus you know what, let me put that B a little bit higher. It looks like I'm trying to multiply the denominator by it. Times the um, numerator function times the derivative of the denominator. So dv dx all divided by the denominator squared. Okay, um, another way of writing that, or we could write if... Um, if h of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x, okay, so if we're writing it in function notation, then the derivative of h of x is equal to g of x times the derivative of the numerator f of x minus f of x times the derivative of the denominator, all divided by the denominator squared. All right, so here it is. This is how it looks in the formula packet, and here is writing it using function notation. Um, I could also write it another way, the formula, a more simplified way. If y is equal to u over v, then dy dx, the derivative of y, is equal to v times the derivative of u. This is just showing you lots of different ways we can write the same formula. Minus u times the derivative of v divided by v squared. So notice this is kind of the easiest way to write it. So I kind of wish they had written it this way in the formula packet. But they didn't. They had to write it like this. But this is just the derivative of u. This is just the derivative of v. Then the u function and the v function. Okay, the numerator function, the denominator function, all divided by the denominator function squared. So that is what we have. And now we're going to do an example. Since I write really big, I'm going to turn the page. So in class, I put up a problem on the board, and I asked you to try it in your notebooks, and it quickly became a big, giant mess. So we're going to do that problem right now. So the example problem that I'm going to do is the same one that we started looking at in class, and it seemed like such a huge mess trying to use the product rule on it. So 3x to the fourth plus 2. Oops, I forgot to write y equals. y equals... y equals 3x to the fourth plus 2 divided by 3x to the third minus 2. So the first thing I want to do is identify what's u and what's v. So I have u is equal to the numerator and v is equal to the denominator. And then I want the derivative of u. So we did this in class, 4 times 3 is 12. Subtract 1 from the exponent, leaves me with a 3. And then the 2, the constant, just disappears. And then over here, 
the derivative of this function, 3 times 3 is 9, subtract 1 from the exponent, I'm left with x squared, and the derivative of negative 2 is just 0. Okay, now the formula says that we are going to start with the denominator function times the derivative of the numerator. So I'm actually going to use some colors here. Do I have some colors handy? Look at those colors. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Looking for supplies, which I should have gotten before I started. So that you can see what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to start with I'm going to start with green. Green means go. Start with the green. So I'm going to do this first. So I'm going to do v times u prime. So my derivative dy dx is going to be equal to this one times that one. Um, I know the formula says v times u prime, but I'm going to go ahead and put the monomial first because it's just cleaner that way. So that one times 3x cubed minus 2 minus the other way, minus this one. So again, I'll put the monomial first, it's just cleaner that way, times 3x to the fourth plus 2. All divided by v squared. So 3x to the third minus 2 squared. Okay, now we can simplify this. I mean, we could leave it like that, but we can simplify it. So let's go ahead and multiply this out and simplify it. So I'm going to distribute my numerator. So I have dy dx is equal to 12 times 3 is 36 x cubed times x cubed is x to the sixth. Remember, we add the exponents when we have the same base and we're multiplying them together. And then the other one, 12 times 2, so that's negative 24, and keep my x to the third. And then over here, negative 9 times 3 is negative 27. x squared times x to the fourth is x to the sixth, adding the exponents. Negative 9 times 2 is negative 18 and I keep my x squared, all divided by 3x to the third minus 2 squared. Now I can combine my like terms, so dy dx is equal to, I've got the, this one and this one, that would be 9x to the sixth, combine my x to the sixth. This is my only x to the third, so minus 24x to the third minus 18x squared, all divided by 3x to the third minus 2. Okay, at this point, I could try and factorize the numerator, see if I can reduce it with the denominator, see how the denominator is already factorized. Let's see, can I factorize the numerator? I notice they all can be divided by 3, and they all have an x squared, so I could factorize this. I could bring out a 3x squared and 3 times 3 is 9, and x to the fourth. And then this one, uh, that would be 8. 3 times 8 is 24. And then I need an x minus, that would be a 6. And then all divided by 3x to the third minus 2. And now I'm looking at, I can't reduce this with this because this is a binomial, and that's a monomial, can't do anything there. Could I factorize this into a binomial times a binomial? Unless it's going to be 3x squared minus 2 times something, there's no point in doing it. And um, so notice I'm not going to be able to factorize this. So I can't reduce this. So in that case, this is really pretty much my answer is right here. Okay, if you are asked to write it out in expanded form, we could expand this. We could multiply out 3x to the third minus 2 times itself two times. So if it was asked to be an expanded form, we would have to multiply that out. Expanded form would be dy dx is equal to 9x to the sixth minus 24x to the third minus 18x squared, all divided by if I multiply this out, 
I'm not going to do it the long way. I'm just going to do it in my head. 3x cubed times 3x cubed would be 9x to the 6. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. That's going to happen twice, so it would be negative 12x cubed. Negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4. So I did that in my head, uh, but you could write this out twice and do the distributive property uh, to get that answer. So here it is in expanded form. This is a perfectly reasonable answer as well. Okay, so tomorrow in class, you are going to be practicing this long and tedious um, formula uh, and um, hopefully not have to use it too often. But again, it's in your formula packet, so it's important to be able to look at this and to understand what is what. That this is, where am I? That this is the denominator function, this is the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator function times the derivative of the denominator, all divided by the denominator squared. Okay, so this isn't a hugely important derivative um, formula, but if you need it, it's a lot nicer than trying to rewrite it and use the product rule as we saw in class today. It is handy if you do have a quotient that you need to find the derivative of. It's way easier to do it with the quotient rule than with the product rule or the chain rule. All right, see you tomorrow. That's it.